Well, what makes a man who's dedicated his life to his faith walk away from it all? After 23 years in the Catholic Church, priest Victor Bahaja has quit because he says he's seen too much. He spoke to Christy Wettenhall. Things are being deleted that could be helpful to the Victorian Inquiry and to the Royal Commission. The long-awaited child sex abuse Royal Commission set for the first time here in Melbourne. Certain data is not being recorded in any way, shape or form. And at the moment, there is a policy of no names. It's the Royal Commission thousands of child sex abuse victims have wanted for decades. A chance to finally expose the truth through investigating institutions like the Catholic Church. But one man fears criminal clergy will carry on undetected, claiming the Victorian Archdiocese is determined to keep its sordid secrets buried. I believe there is a devil in the hierarchy. Victor Bahaja has recently quit his post as a Catholic priest, walking away from the faith after 12 years leading parishes across Victoria. He says it became impossible to continue after he found out the church was deleting records relating to child sexual abuse. I saw the Archbishop and I heard the Archbishop telling the secretary to turn off the recorder. It was at a council meeting of the state's most powerful priests last April when alarm bells first began to ring for Victor. As soon as the recorder was turned off, the Archbishop started talking about the sex abuse situation. Victor says Archbishop Dennis Hart went on to discuss two priests who he'd suspended, but there was no mention of their names, nor any details to reveal their identity. After that meeting, I made inquiries as to why the recorder was turned off at that particular moment. Is this a cover-up? I suspect the recorder was turned off to create like a black hole, that when the investigators go and try to see how the situation evolved during the last 10 years or so, they simply find nothing. If, in fact, they have been um, turning off tape recorders while they're discussing sex abuse, then that, that should come out. Veteran journalist and anti-child abuse advocate, Darren Hinch. They know the records that the Royal Commission will want, and it's in their interest, their self-interest, their self-preservation, to um, get rid of it. Victor's concerns about the church's no-names policy deepened when he called the Victorian Archdiocese to report a man in his parish who'd volunteered but failed the working with children check. He wanted an alert sent to other parishes to warn them of the potentially dangerous man in their midst, but Victor's request was flatly refused. The secretary told me uh, we cannot do that because we have a policy of no names. If I don't put the name of the person, how are the other priests going to know whom I'm talking about? This internal policy completely contradicts the church's public push for mandatory reporting and transparency. So too its stance to the Royal Commission. The Commission welcomes the response from the Catholic Church, which has been repeated on a number of occasions, that it will fully cooperate with the Commission. Despite the public statements, um, uh, they're not um, for the victims. They are only out for their reputation. David was just 13 when convicted pedophile priest Terry Pedoto took him to a seminary and sexually abused him. Sadly, these latest claims come as no surprise. I was raped as a young boy and then I was re-offended when I came forward. The election of a new pope just last month delivered the Catholic Church its best press in years and renewed hope for restored faith. But these latest allegations, together with the scrutiny of the Royal Commission, suggest any afterglow will be short-lived. And despite our repeated requests for an interview to openly discuss these matters, the Church has declined. Instead, it sent a written statement, conceding the council may elect to discuss matters that are not minuted, or in other words, no records kept. 
and little clarification was given regards Victor's allegations of a no-names policy. The church simply stating the Archdiocese complies with privacy principles, but it is wrong to describe that as a no-names policy. It's hoped the truth will be revealed in time. The Royal Commission estimates there are 5,000 people waiting for their chance to give evidence against the Catholic Church and other institutions. Victor Bahaja is among those in line to tell the Commission what he saw from the inside. I am a very, 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 very little fish in the whole scheme of things. And by staying in, I have my hands tied. The only way I could do this was actually by walking out.